Since most of today was going to be spent on the beach, I wanted to make sure I got enough work done beforehand. Even at about 8 o'clock in the morning, the beach was already packed. But first we wanted to get some coffee and breakfast. And this time around again, while everyone got a bowl of pho, I was the odd duck and decided to get some bun mi with eggs. And it was time to take a stroll to the beach. back from walking around on the beach. The woman is taking a shower right now and uh, it's about noon on Sunday and we've got about three hours left before we gotta head back to Saigon to return the rental car. After being reminded that we had the minivan for only 24 hours, we packed up our stuff, checked out of the hotel, and looked for some grub on the way home. We stopped at a restaurant called Wikung. It's awesome for its rice and seafood dishes. It's also the same place I went to back in 2012 during my first trip to Vietnam. While waiting for our order to be cooked, my cousin Tan and I decided to walk around the scenic property to kill time. My favorite dish there has to be the oysters fried with eggs. After the mid-afternoon meal, we made our way back on the road, and for some reason we stopped at this place, I'm not sure why, but we did really quickly for about 10 minutes. Due to the heavy traffic, the ride took us longer than anticipated, about 3 hours. About halfway back to Saigon, we had to take a rest stop at this crazy giant market. Think of it as just a bunch of street vendors huddled under one roof. It was packed. And the restrooms were some of the nastiest, dirtiest, smelliest ones ever. Well, we finally arrived back home just right before 8 p.m. when I found out I had been locked out of my apartment. Well, I'm locked out of my freaking top apartment there. Long story short, stupid move on my part. I let my downstairs neighbor borrow my key for a day and I get back from vacation and she's not home, so I can't get in. After unsuccessfully contacting my downstairs neighbor who had my key, I walked down the street a little bit to kill time and buy some food. Eventually the bitch returned home and let me back into my apartment. And there I just continued to work throughout the night.